So, I'm going to be checking out pulls. I've seen a couple of streamers that I follow play this, and it's it looks interesting, but, you know, you'll get the idea pretty quickly what it is. Okay. It's just a game where we're going to walk around. <laughs> it's, it's called pools. It's just we're going to walk around and see swimming pools. Well, this might seem like a strange idea, but... The whole thing is, it's liminal spaces, so it almost feels dreamlike. That's the whole point of it. And I find this stuff interesting. It's, uh, can be a cool experience. You kind of just kick back and just take it all in. I figure the sounds as well might be nice for those that are experiencing late night right now. What on earth is that? Is that a map? Well, there's not a chance I'm gonna remember this. Alright, so, uh, where are we? It's probably not a map. It, it does feel very dreamlike. like. I'm not 100% certain how this works, like if it's generated or if it's something that there's a set map, but I'm going to walk around for a little bit. I'm not sure if I should play some music in the background or something. Or we just leave it to the sounds of the ambience, you know? What is this game? It's a game where you just walk around and explore swimming pools. They're like liminal spaces, so it's meant to feel like an eerie dream. That's why there's no music, it just adds to the... the thing they're going for. Imagine you're in a dream, and... You're at the pool, and you decide to go for a walk. There's a ladder. Oh. What the hell? Okay. No ladder for me. This would be interesting to do in VR. This would definitely be one of these great VR experiences. I wonder if there's a VR version of this. What was that? Hello? It's not a horror game, I promise.
What on earth is this? <laughs> so weird space. Let's see, now it's getting trippy. I'm just waiting for things to be upside down or something. Look! <laughs> the giant duck. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Yeah, I mean, the game is supposed to feel like just a weird dream. There's no purpose to it other than just walking around and experiencing. Imagine you have this on your TV and it's dark. You know, you turn out all the lights and you just experience this on your TV right now. I think this would be cool to watch on a TV later. In fact, I might even do it myself. Okay, we've got a big spiral staircase. Yeah, I mean, it's just meant to feel eerie like a dream. That's, that's it. I'm curious as to how it works if there's a map that I can follow to go to certain rooms or if this is like just chaotic and everything is just generated on the fly, like stitched together. Oh, okay. What is this? Is that a slide? Can I go in? Oh, I can go in the slide. This would be really trippy in VR. Which, which way do I go? Oh, you've never been to a swimming pool at night? I don't think I actually have. <laughs> I've swum in the ocean at night. The clean tiles with no wear makes it more creepy. Yeah, it does. That's what I mean. There's something eerie about it. The hell is that sound? Is that you, duck? <laughs> it's a duck. Hmm. 
Uh, okay, I can push it around. Hang on. I can move a bit quicker through the water. Oh, hello. An exit. Okay. What's this railing for? The L? Oh, oh. What do you mean? I can't follow. Ugh, natural light. <laughs> okay, so now this is... There are windows. This makes this feel like very spaceship-like. You know? Is that a diving board? Holy crap. This looks very industrial and yet it's still a swimming pool. This is what I mean. I saw this game in... First, I was like, okay, why? But the more I watched it, the more I just couldn't stop looking. Because it just... I was intrigued at what was going to come up next. Just kind of... So weird. But often that's the best stuff, is just things that make you question why. I mean, I don't know, are you finding this interesting as I am? As interesting as I'm finding it? I hear breathing. What the heck? I dive or do I go back? <laughs> All right, chapter one done. No, I didn't die. I guess I, I fell into the next room. Now we're at the bottom of whatever I fell into. No, there's water. Oh, and even... Is that bi a bigger water slide? Now we got a bit more color. It's not so monochromatic. Where's the water slide entrance?
Hey, <laughs> what's the water slide? Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, this would be great to watch at night. Just lights off on the TV. Actually, I might flick off the lights in the room. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's better. Immersion. No, that's better. What am I waiting later for? I just turn off the lights in here. I wonder if anyone's going to have dreams about this. You know, after watching footage of it. I think the fact that there's no music does add to it. What? Triangle or circle chat? Or just straight ahead? Circle. I mean, this is a very nice looking game <laughs> for what it is. It's visually nice. Yeah, if this was VR, this would be amazing. I might look into it, because I do have the old uh, PlayStation VR, but then again, that thing's probably out of date now. Oh, good choice. There's a... Okay, never mind. There's a water slide from the sea. The hell? That's frightening. I need to find stairs. Well, about that. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so I've found a changing room. Man, it really knows how to, like, put you on edge. It just puts those sounds like the rattling of a locker just as you're walking near it. Yeah, the fact that the tiles are so clean, that makes it really unsettling. Like, it's just too pristine, you know? There's a water slide over there. But I want it... <laughs> nice squeeze through here. Nah. 
but that's very dreamlike. It's like you see an object in the distance and you kind of go in the general direction of where you think it's going to be, but then it's not there and you can just never get to it. that art statue or I'm just like sounds yep that I put the volume up on my headphones so that's I'm like being extra sensitive to sound right now Tell you what, you know, if I lived in a place of the world where a uh, particular thing was legal, and I played this game after uh, legally partaking in said thing, this would be a trip. Especially if it was VR. Is that really a dead end? I'm stuck. There we go. Get off the ladder. Oh, that is. This is creepy. Like, it's lockers, but through the corridor. Did not look like that. Okay, well, see, that looks like a fun water slide, going from one level down. That'd be cool. You see what I mean? Like, it, it's just... This is really all the game is, but you just can't help but just keep watching. Something about it, at least for me. What the? Is that a swing? Why? Oh, okay. I'm getting fancy. Whoa. What the f Uh... Oh, okay. No, I'm just walking on air now, okay. No, it's glass. Okay, it's glass. Do you ever see those buildings that have swimming pools at the top and they have the pool like overhanging the building and it's just glass I would not have the guts to swim in that that would break me out oh no no this is very this is very dreamlike Too dark. 
Do you ever have a dream like that where like you're just in a area that you can't really make out what's going on? Like the two extremes, right? Like you have the white light where it's just as hard to see what's going on, and then also the dark. I really like how this is doing. The whole like reveal of a room. Is this a horror game? I don't know. Like, it's meant to be a game that... It's just liminal spaces, right? It's... Meant to feel very ethereal and dreamlike. It says psychological horror, really? I guess you can classify it as a... But there's, I guess that's the thing, it's it's not a horror game in the sense that, like, um, you know, there's gonna be gore or anything, it's more just, it's just because of the feeling of unknown, and just the emptiness that this area has, and that it's clean, it just, your brain just reacts to it, you know? It's called Pools, the game is just called Pools. It's your brain just thinking while trying to decipher what this is. And at the same time, if you're the kind of person that has dreams, it's... There's something about this that resonates with that. I can actually sit in the chair. This would be crazy in, in VR, like seriously. I'm, I'm gonna say it multiple times, but just... There's also this music. Very smooth. Okay, we're away from the colorful corridors. Here breathing again. That's not me. What on earth? <laughs> it's just a circle of chairs. Yeah, the breathing, um, I mean, the sound is pretty realistic that you feel like it's either me or yourself. I want to follow the water slide. Hang on. First. Okay. But is this going to be like a dream where I'm, I'm like, yes, I want to take the water slide, but then we're never going to actually find the water slide.
we're never gonna find the water slide, are we? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. I might be wrong. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Does it pretty well. I'm not even sure if I'm going forwards or backwards. There is a logical end to this. It's just whether or not I'm headed in that direction or not. Yeah, this looks new. I hear breathing again. The ring? I can't hop in it. Okay, that's the end of chapter two. <laughs> Alright, new area. This looks even... Crazier because now they're black tiles. Whoa. This is trippy. Taking it all in. <laughs> I'm gonna go towards the darkness. Maybe this is a dead end. Going waterfall? Okay. This is cool.
See, uh, to design something like this, man, like the kind of mind you have to have, A sauna? Oh man, this is even more eerie. <laughs> Just... Okay, so we've arrived at the sauna section. I don't know how else to describe this. I go into each of these thinking there's something else. Like, I bet one of them is just going to lead down the passageway. This is pretty much a swimming pool. Excuse me? Toilet? What? Why? Ew. What does that imply? That, that this is... This is just an area that led to a bathroom. This flood is just the plumbing being bad. I was gonna say, this is just a rabbit hole simulator. There are some sections of this where I'm like, I want to go to the swimming pool. I'll take the green one, because the green one goes unknown. Oh, it's somewhere. There's, if this interests you, this sort of thing, that, oh, okay. There is a Mario 64 ROM hack that is pretty much this. It's exploring a massive map of the castle. And it's just these sort of spaces. You're just running around in Peach's castle and it just seems endless. And it kind of messes with your mind because it's like, it feels familiar, but it's not quite the same. So I could check that out if people are interested in more of this sort of stuff. Um I know I know this is an acquired taste. Only for computer though. Yeah, it's unofficial. It's not a Nintendo thing by any means. It's something that a bunch of people have done. But if this is something that is of interest, I can do more of it. I don't even know how long we've been walking around for. Oh, we're back to the toilet room. But is it the same toilet room? Okay, I went around in a circle. Let's 
go this way. Oh, whoa. This looks very Asher-like. Feels like a boiler room. Bathroom stalls? No nope. bathrooms. Only one. <laughs> That would happen in a nightmare, like, you want to go, you desperately want to go to the bathroom. You see the stalls and you're just checking each one one by one and they, there's no toilet. this just a tube okay just a tube I hear showers or it's just the massive sauna what the heck oh no this is this is trippy This might- I'm gonna move a bit slower because I bet the bitrate is just struggling right now. So I won't move so quickly so then you can kind of appreciate what I'm seeing. The, the upload later on YouTube would be a good quality. That was so weird. Oh, okay. Hello. Toilets. I was like, why can't I move? Because there's toilets. This pool has a plumbing problem. Oh, 
here we go. This is what I was waiting for. Like, now we're going, getting into the whole, like, perception thing. Oh my god. This is a cool room. Well, I just did. No ladders. Look. It looks pretty normal here. But then you move ever so slightly and then it starts to go crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. Alright. I was waiting for a room like that. Like, I, I was like, this is going to start going down the path of, like... Surrealism. Am I going to be mad at all? It's probably the end of this area. Or not. Oh, whoa! Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that probably would have hurt. <laughs> like, no water, yeah. See, out of ten landing, I mean, come on, I'm still able to walk normally after that, that's at least a six. Alright, here we go. Escher painting. Going, what is going on in here? <laughs> what? can't stop looking, can ya? Like, when I started this, you were questioning why I'm even playing this, and now you're like, wow. This looks really cool. Wait, you didn't question why I was playing it? <laughs> I think it's, th it's just thinking. I mean, open to interpretation. He's sitting in a chair, not a toilet. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Sums.
What is this? Dude, in real life, someone, like, slammed the door on a car outside, and it scared the living crap out of me. Because <laughs> I looked up, and then the thud happened, like... The resonance of the noise of the, the car door slamming. Now there's like some weird... What is that in the background? It's not music, it's just like a... Just a noise, like a droning noise. It's only in this room. Yeah, this room is, is trippy. <laughs> Just that droning sound. Along with the water. Okay, see, it's not so perfect. There's, like, imperfections in the tiles. I don't know if that's my own footsteps or what. It almost feels like New Age music is playing here, you know? Like you're supposed to meditate in this room. It's just, yeah, okay, it's just. I'm just expecting one of these to just lead to like a sauna or something. Speaking of. Trying to head towards the sound I'm hearing. Oh my god. This feels endless. I'm trying to not head around in a circle, but I might be going around in a circle here. Okay, um, hopefully this is out and not just the way I came. I guess we'll know if I see uh, urinal stands and everything. This may be yeah, at the doors. Okay, I gotta go back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to follow the right wall. There we go. Okay. That's the end of that zone.
We fell through something. Tell you what, I, I hand it to the developer of this game. They got the atmosphere down perfect. I'm definitely going to watch this later on my TV. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Uh, what? It'd be funny if there was a water slide just leading into the mouth. There's no water slide leading into the mouth. I'm just saying it'd be great if there was. I don't know if I'm hearing a faint sound or if... What am I hearing? I don't know if it's just ambient sound or what, but... I'm trying to head in the direction of where I think it's coming from. I think it's just ambient sound, because at this point I would have gotten close to it. Can't open the door. It's just like normal house doors. I keep going upstairs. The heck? At least they're hanging the toilet paper correctly. How do I put my toilet paper that way? Because you don't want it rubbing against the wall. What? 
Oh, is this like another fall into the abyss? What is that static? Apparently not the way to go. <laughs> That's how you like toilet paper, but there's a war on your house, your husband who likes it the other way. Look up the toilet paper roll patent and it'll show you the correct way to hang it. Hello, flamingos. It's a derpy. Why, why door though? Go down the water slide. Let's see where it takes me. Jeez. Breathing again. This is a different flamingo room. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Is it unsettling that I heard breathing and then there's, it almost looks like they're looking at me? Hey, Majestic Neon, how's it going? I just hear this... eerie background sound. It's creepy because it feels like a mix of an apartment building and then, like, a pool. You don't hear anything? I got my headphones turned right up, so I'm, like, hearing all the, the sounds, the ambience. There's definitely a sound component to this. I use ray tracing. I mean, if it's on by default, yeah. I haven't touched the settings, so no idea.
said it before, there's like rooms that have really nice lighting and reflections in this. I'm cool with how it looks now, like... I don't need to mess around with the graphics, I think it's fine. So weird, like this reminds me of an apartment building that a friend of mine used to live in. It just feels extra eerie. I mean, not the, the tiles, but kind of... Like the floor was different, obviously, but the walls... Very similar. I haven't been to a swimming pool in a very long time. I don't know, there's something about the chlorine. I just don't like the smell of it. I am... Hoping I'm not going around in a circle. Is that breathing again? Okay, I recognize this room. Sound my footsteps have changed. Hey, got me. It's a game where I'm walking around a pool. I mean, it's not a horror game, but it does tug at the brain a little sometimes, like... There are times where certain rooms feel eerie, almost like it could be out of a horror flick, but that's not horror. It's psychological. More than anything else. Kind of okay. You just kind of walk around and experience it. Tells us. Oh, remember how I said water slide in the mouth? Um, <laughs> there's the water slide in the mouth. What the? F what is this room?
again, you have to think about the kind of mind that created this game. You don't? <laughs> I do. It's just the fact that everything is so clean. It adds to the creepiness. What? Staircase into nothing? Oh, let's just ignore that. Yes, go down the go down the pipe. If this was in a game, an action game, like this would be a little, just the pit that goes to hell. What is that wood? Bricks? Bricks. Just okay. Feels like a warehouse. Kind of reminds me of some of the older buildings here in Melbourne. I mean, they don't have pools in them or water slides, but like the window setups. Okay, maybe not this. This is... This is so drain. I bet this is the kind of thing you could play a couple times and just not take the same path.
Like, I would not be able to retrace my steps. I wouldn't be able to take the exact same route. That diving board. <laughs> I performed a dive worthy of an award. That was the achievement. Feel accomplished. Let's not fall into the abyss. Oh my god. Alright. This looks cool. Oh yeah, no, it's really cool. It's a game that, at the start, I when I saw this being played by a streamer I watched, I kind of questioned it at the start. I was like, okay. Oh, I'm back in this room. Keep going. But the more you watch, the more you can't not... Like, you can't look away. <laughs> Just intrigued. You can get it on Steam. Just uh, look up pools. This is new. I don't know how long I've been playing this for. It's surely been over an hour. <laughs> now it makes me want to check out that uh, Mario 64 ROM hack that is like similar to this, but not. It's not as atmospheric, but it's just exploring this. Gigantic map of Peach's Castle that just contains like areas that aren't really real or in the game, but they kind of feel like they could be. What is this? It's <laughs> railing in the middle of the pool. Play this, I recommend having headphones and putting the volume right up, because the audio is part of the experience as well. I can hear faint sounds. Like, it sounds like there's construction work or something going on on the outside here. Like, do you hear that? This game does ambience really, really well.
and then back to like a almost hospital like setting. There's that breathing again. Sure, this isn't just a flooded VR chat world. Jeez, I can only imagine VR chat and something like this. Alright, we're in another MC Escher type room. Wait a minute, wasn't this the room that I like I walked past there? That's the corridor I walked. Now I'm actually in this. Okay, we're doing this now again. <laughs> I can't go in that way. Yep. <laughs> we're going to traverse this entire path. This is cool. Uh, what? Oh! Yeah, that's the room with the chairs and the statue from before. Except now it's... So oh, what? Oh my god, this is <laughs> messing with me a little. Ugh. I mean, that way is down. This was pretty shallow water. I, I feel like my knees would be shattered at the very least. <laughs> it's not going to end up down there, is it? It's going to be something completely different. Okay, no, maybe it did end up down there. Okay, green wallpaper. Well, now it just feels like a house. I mean, a house with a pool, but... Or an office building. Uh, nope, not that way. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, now this this feels like like an office, almost like a doctor's office, a little. Just because the what the floor, and I guess it it has a hospital theme to it, except the walls, the wall paper what? Uh, okay. Now we're back to feeling like it's a pool. Now this feels like a pool, like I'm in a normal pool. I mean, ex excluding, like, this area of darkness here, like... The dark corner. Alright, now, yeah. We're in, the, we're in a pool. A very fancy pool, but a pool nonetheless. Like, I feel like I should be coming across people in togas or something here. Which color? Pick a color chat. Drinking some of my water whilst I did that. Alright, I saw yellow. Too late, yellow was first. You see, sometimes we are given the illusion of choice. This is a statement on life itself, you know? Often, the road may lead to a fork, but ultimately you end up on the same path. It's a life lesson, kids. This room feels like a brewery. Can't walk up this. Whoa, oh, no, don't like this. Okay, don't go that way. I guess I need to watch where I'm stepping, huh? What is that? Remember at the, at the start, how there was this thing on the wall that looked like a map? <laughs> and I was, like, trying to look at it, thinking, oh, yeah, no, I should keep an eye on that. Uh, oh. Let's... Oh, boy. That's one of these. Oh man, this looks... Can you hear the sounds?
Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna keep heading in this direction. And hope it ends up somewhere. But I'm aware at a certain point I, I would have headed around in a circle. Okay, this looks different. can just chill. Stand to the left so others may pass. Uh huh. Oh, the fact that these are like on an angle as well. being patient. <laughs> I'm enjoying the ride, literally. What is that sound? I can't make it out. I don't think it's actually speaking. Start walking now, we're like at the top. Okay, back to <laughs> this wallpaper. This is very green. You know what's weird? I don't think I've been in a house with wallpaper. Is that weird? Not exactly a common thing here, at least in the houses that I've seen. Yeah, I don't think I have. I've seen it on TV plenty. But I don't think Australian houses have wallpaper. Much like we don't have attics or basements, it's kind of just not a thing, really. Whoa. Uh, 
Uh... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you have an outdoor pool and then you install a water slide in the attic. And that'd be kind of cool. This music is very unsettling. It's like clown music. I can't go in the house. So what, am I a, am I a toy? Ends, huh? I'm glad I didn't watch a lot of this. Like I saw maybe five minutes tops, and I was like, no, I need to, I need to experience this myself. This is very unsettling, the fact that they have, um, these. It's, like, very dystopian. Every house is the same. Paper is annoying to remove. From what I've seen on TV, I, I bet. I think they want me to go that way, chat. Just... Just a hunch. Oh, there's more of that, like, water... That, that actually looks frightening. way too clean. <laughs> Hang on, I heard a sound. Is that a bad sound? Let me see. Chat, am I still here? I think... I don't know if OBS, like, did something dumb. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Eek, OBS crashed. Okay. Should be back now. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, I had to stitch two recordings together because OBS... crashed. Not my computer, just OBS. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of heard a sound and then I stopped moving, so. Um, if you didn't catch it, what I said was, this looks way too clean. That was the last thing I said and then I heard a, a window sound, like, uh-oh. Um, but yeah, it looks too clean. Okay. 
It would have been funny if that was timed with, like, me falling down a pipe and then the stream crashes. Like, could you imagine? Just adds to the eeriness of this... Damn, that would have been funny if I had just ended the stream going down a pipe or something. It would have been worth the bit. Anyway, sorry. These things, they happen. OBS has uh, been pretty flaky. Since they did, like, that new version of it. On the bright side, it didn't crash my computer. Yeah, thanks for typing something right away the moment the stream went down. It lets me know. I heard the Windows sound. I wasn't sure if it was OBS or just Windows being annoying. So I said, hey, can anyone hear me? And then I saw the text. <laughs> so. This just looks like Fruit Loops. I still want to play Chrono Trigger, but at the same time. This is, uh, this has been very intriguing. I've kind of been engaged the entire time. I don't know about you. Oh, this just sounds like a construction yard. That is, uh, that is unsettling. A room with just a slide and nothing else. I'm just expecting a, a ghost of a child to pop up and be like, Come play with me. So weird. Uh, that's uh, certainly a water slide. But 
But the blade's not turned on. It should be safe, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's safe. Looks worse than what it is. See, it's fine. This, on the other hand, this is not fine. Someone's phone's ringing. But it's like an old phone. It's so weird, like, the sounds... When I stand still, the sounds don't happen as much. It's the moment I start moving. I'm going over there. gonna say this looks like a dead end okay I'm not gonna use those incorrectly <laughs> gonna well why does looking at this feel weird all right <laughs> I think I've been looking at this for a long time I wouldn't be able to describe it, but just looking at that felt weird. That's all I can say. It just, it felt weird. What are we in the sewers now? Oh, this is... 
This is unsettling. This is like... <laughs> Feels very crypt-like, but there's pillows, like... You'd sleep here. But it's a boiler room. Stairs. Or am I going around in a circle? I, I don't know. <laughs> just... Okay, this is actually something. I don't see any ladders, so it's not where I was before. I hope I can use this door, otherwise go back. Okay, good. Another unsettling, like, room with pillows and... What the heck is that? A duck? Is that a duck? In yeah, it's a big duck. phones again. Wait, am I back in... Okay, I'm back in this room. Unless it's a new version of this room. Hang on. Okay, no. Right, okay. I recognize where I am. So we gotta head this way. I mean, I'm saying this like, okay, I'm confident this is the way to go, but I have no idea. It's just... Hmm, I've been in this room before. We should go back the way we came. No way down there. It's gotta be like another path to take from here.
Okay, this feels unfamiliar. I'm walking through unfamiliar. Here's some sort of machine. Or it's just industrial sounds. That is not the time. I was worried for a sec that it was taking my system time. That is not the time. That would have been a nice touch, though. This... These perfectly polished walls. Look at them. Oh, hello. Are you alive? You're alive. Can I pet the sheep? would make an excellent thumbnail. Hold on. Hopefully that, that uh, took a screenshot of it. dystopian looking. If that's screaming or that's like pog champ. This is a nice area, like, just kind of sit here, it feels pretty normal. This feels like a normal room. This feels fancy. Okay, we're in an art gallery now. Uh huh. That's cool. Is 
Don't you see? We are the art. Is that Garfield? <laughs> Legally distinct shadow of a cat. Of this chair as well, look at this. Lizzie? That's cool. Why, though? This is... Again, back to unsettling. Sounds like trains. Yeah, trains. <laughs> I say that, this is a train station now. Uh huh. Oh, that is, uh, that is a pose right there. And it's just so weird that you go from one room to another and sometimes you just feel like you're in a completely different setting and then you go back to swimming pools. What's this? That looks very flesh-like and I don't like it. I don't know what that was. Okay. 
So, oh, yep. <laughs> I figured I'd be doing that. What's that? Hold on. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see anything. Don't worry, it's fine. Should we be concerned with the pile of warning signs, hazard signs in the corner there? Is it a slip? Okay, I mean. I thought it was like, be careful of slipping, which would just be funny, given what the room is. doesn't head anywhere. Oh, that kitchen, random kitchen. <laughs> well, it's not even a kitchen, it's, I guess, just a kitchen without the kitchen. Oh, okay. What is this? The face. Yeah, let's let's head towards what the fuck? Um, this is all happening on its own. I'm not controlling. I can't, con I have lost control. So what is, what is this now? Uh... Uh, 
All right. So that was, uh, that was pools. <laughs> that was quite the experience. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I saw a bit of this and I saw it and said I needed to try it. Just, it is very, very intriguing. I don't know about you, but just, once you start it, you just can't stop. You just kind of keep exploring and you just keep uh, looking at all the weird stuff. Uh, this game is done very well. It's just the way they do ambience and the way they do the sound design and all that. And the visuals are just awesome. But they've definitely got it down, like, just tension. But there's, there's nothing really that's happening. There's no horror or anything. It's just your brain is just feeling like something's going to happen or it just feels eerie, like dreamlike ethereal it's it's cool i really enjoyed this so yeah hope you did as well um yeah again if people are curious or keen i can check out the mario one which i mean it's not to this level right all it is is just mario 64 but then you're kind of walking around the castle and there's just all these different areas and it feels like you're just exploring a scrapped version of Mario 64 and it's it's not real at all but um yeah it's the same kind of eeriness like familiar but then it's not quite right anyway if you're watching this later on YouTube thanks for sticking around to the end of the video again I had to stitch two videos together because it crashed OBS like two-thirds of the way in so I had to stitch them together um but yeah, if you want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things um, that don't involve trippy spaces by clicking one of those videos that pop up at the end. That stuff does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do that. Really appreciate it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, the look at pools.